We all want to make money, but it takes money to make money. So what should you do if you're hungry and you're ambitious and you don't have the cash on hand? Well, in this video, I'm going to share with you what would I do if I lost everything and I only had a hundred bucks to my name. Hey, this is Antoine and on my channel, we talk everything business and marketing. So it seems like getting started without money is really hard. It can be daunting and wouldn't it be nice to have a rich father or a rich uncle to help us out. But some of the biggest brands that we love and adore today were started with just a few bucks. I mean, I don't want to take the cliche of Steve Jobs, but there I go. Take Steve Jobs, for example. He started building computer parts in his garage with just a few bucks. And today, Apple is worth over $2 trillion. So not having the cash on hand isn't really the problem. The real issue is the context or our thought process about making money. A big imagination beats a low cash problem. It's that simple. Now, as long as you have food and lodging, you are golden. But if you don't, well, you need to go get a job and then take these ideas as a side hustle. So my goal is to turn that $100 into $5,000 as quickly as possible so I can buy some inventory or buy the equipment for my big business idea. So I give it a lot of thought. What would I do if I lost everything? My real estate, my cash, my money, everything was gone and all I was left with is a $100. What would I do? What would be my strategy? What would be my step number one? I studied multiple options, including investment, but that's gonna take too long for me, and some of it is quite risky. So the following is my step-by-step -step plan of how I would get myself out of that hole. So my step number one would be to buy and sell used goods online. Buying and selling goods online would be my first step into turning that $100 into $5,000 quickly. Because with sites like Facebook Marketplace and OfferUp, there are tons of people getting rid of stuff in their garage, in their attics, in their basements that could be extremely valuable and very profitable for me. And if I know what to look for and going to be patient, there is a lot of stuff that I could turn for profit very quickly. Chances are there are people in your area, in your town, in your neighborhood that are trying to get rid of stuff that is taking space in their house and that's great news for you. And we need to be super smart and study the heck out of it. We need to figure out what sales and at what price. We need to become an expert at this stuff. And to become an expert we're gonna to have to give up some stuff like gaming or you know watching too much Netflix like I do once you figured out the items that you want to buy and sell you can set up alerts in any of those platforms to let you know as soon as that specific item is up for sale so you can make a quick move on it now the place that I would start I would be looking at upcoming seasons and stuff that is selling now that is for the next season. For instance, people will start thinking of barbecuing around May and June. They'll realize that their barbecue grill is busted or they need a new one. But right now, when I'm making this video in March, it's too cold outside. They're not thinking about that yet. But for example, a grill that I would buy today for 50 or 75 bucks, I could easily sell that for 125 to 150 bucks two months from now. All I'm leveraging here is the offer and the demand. There's not a lot of demand for a barbecue grill in the middle of March. Same thing applies for water skis or water sports item. Well, it's too cold outside. People are not thinking about that yet, but they will really soon. And there are people already selling those items. They're trying to get rid of it on the internet right now. So just look for stuff to buy right now that are going to be a hot commodity 90 days from now, regardless of the timing and the season. And another example is looking for winter clothes in the middle of summer. People will be cleaning their attics, getting rid of winter clothes that will sell for cheap that you could hold on to until November, December when people need it and easily make a bunch of money. Now finding products is only part of the deal. That's fairly easy 
easy. Knowing exactly what to sell them for is key. So you need to do your homework and know exactly what is the sweet spot for a used barbecue grill. And if you find out that the sweet spot for a used barbecue grill in your area is 125 bucks and you see one on sale for 50 bucks, well, that's easy cash right there for you. Now let's talk about markup because I think that's really important. You should expect to make a 30 to 50% markup on anything you buy. Anything above that is gravy. So for example, if you find an item for 25 bucks, you should expect to resell it for 37.50, which is a $12.50 profit for you, which equals to a 50% markup. The two to 400% markup, or far and few in between, there are more the exception than the rule. So make sure that your expectations are set right and know specifically what I themselves for. But like everything, patience and doing your homework is key to make this work. Now, with only $100 to my name, I'm going to be looking for items I can buy for around $20 and resell for at least 50 bucks. That's going to give me the quick wins I need to get the ball rolling. And buying and selling used goods online is a great way to turn that initial $100 into two to $300 very quickly. Now my next move would be designed to give momentum to that business idea. So my second strategy would be to offer services for cleaning garages, attics and basements. These are the three main places where people have a ton of mess. Their garage, their attics, and their basements. And they're gonna get around to cleaning it someday, somehow, but not now. And definitely not on their own. Because they're tired and their back hurts and they don't have the time and blah, 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 blah. And it's something that couples fight about all the time. So it's not gonna be hard for you to find opportunities in your neighborhood. And you can guess where I'm going with this. Cleaning garages, attics, and basements and people's home is the easiest and fastest way to find used stuff to sell online. And this is going to do two things for me. Number one, I'm going to earn a few bucks that I can reinvest to buy stuff online that I can resell. And two is a great way to find used stuff that they have in their garage basements and attics that they'll be happy to get rid of. An old pair of water skis that is stuck in the corner, a turntable that has been collecting dust for the last 15 years, a barbecue grill that they haven't used in five years. As the old saying goes, one man's trash is another man's treasure. Doing this will take time and effort but it would be a great way for you to build an inventory of used stuff you could sell online. You should be able to create a flyer for about $5 offering the services and promote this in upper hand neighborhood. Offer something like garage or basement or attic cleaning for $50 with a four hour maximum. Then each additional hour offer that at $15. The vast majority of people will need a lot more than the four hour initial time. So even if you work there for eight hours, you'll make a bunch of cash. And if you see something that you could sell, you could say something like, hey, I've been looking for a barbecue grill. Would you take $5 for this one in the corner? I'm sure that many people will tell you, eh, just take it. It'll make some space in the garage, which I need anyway. It's a win-win for everyone. Now, I'm sure you could easily do this three to four times a month. And if you do, you're gonna be earning about 350 to 400 bucks, plus maybe another two to $300 with stuff that you found in their garage or attics or basement that you could resell. Now that's about five to $800 cash in your pocket each month. Now my next idea is again about building momentum for that specific business idea. So my third idea is moving and packing helper support. My family just moved a couple of months ago and we needed all the help that we could get. Having an extra pair of hands would have been very nice. And guess what? We got rid of a ton of stuff. Some we gave away, some we donated, and other stuff we sold it just to make a few bucks and get rid of it quickly. And if you would have been helping my family, you would have made a ton of money on all the stuff that you could have resold. Honestly, I didn't care. I was just happy to get rid of it. Things like water ski and garden furniture and tools that we had in the garage that we didn't want to take with us. And that's just one family in the neighborhood. How many families out there are wishing they had 
you to help them pack and put all those stuff in boxes. Again, make a flyer promoting those services and post them in expensive neighborhoods. And network with real estate agents or homeowners associations that would be happy to promote your services. Someone in your neighborhood is going to need your help really soon and it's going to be an amazing opportunity to find you stuff that you can sell for a quick buck. Same thing here, you could easily be making two to three hundred bucks a month just on your time and an additional two to four hundred dollars that you're going to get from getting some of these used stuff and selling them online. Now with these three ideas alone I should be able to make fifteen to two thousand dollar a month and I'm being really conservative there. Now remember that my personal goal is to make five thousand dollars so it's going to take me about I would say three to four months to make that kind of money using this method and now with the five thousand dollar I can buy my inventory of stuff or I can buy the equipment that's gonna help me start my big business idea. Now I know a few of you out there are going to be able to execute that strategy very easily so I would love to hear from your struggles and also your wins in the comments below. All right so that does it for today. The next video to watch would be this one right there. Please make sure to subscribe before you go. Give me a thumbs up if you got value and until next time Ciao.